Hey guys, Brixenty here bringing you another vlog. This is a tutorial on a holographic lip look. Now I'm going to use this color here. In I am going to use this color here. It is called Wolf and it is a dark gray. I would suggest black to really make the colors pop, but you can use whatever color you want. You can use any dark color really. Um, this is a burgundy. This was would also be a good option. Any color is going to make it look just a little bit different, um, but they're still going to pop pretty well. I, you could use a dark purple. You could even use a dark blue, which I considered doing that. You could use a dark blue. That's actually blue, although it looks kind of black. Um, So I'm going to use the color Wolf in the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D, and I'm going to use the Alchemist palette, which you can't even see. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. I can't see it anymore. No? Maybe if I put it on this side. The light is bright, and you can't even tell what I have in my hand. There we go. The Alchemist palette by Kat Von D. It's actually holographic on the outside, but the light's kind of taking over everything. And I'm going to use of these colors here. I'm going to use all of them. There's a sapphire blue. This palette is very well loved, so uh, ignore the dust. <laughs> There's a sapphire blue. An emerald gold, a green. <laughs> Ultraviolet amethyst. And opal pink. So, those are the colors we're going to be working with. You can really use any holographic color that you want to. This look was inspired by Simply Neological. She did a black lip with holographic lipstick over her lip and it kind of ended up looking like an oil slick. And I thought I could make a lip look and make it look, make it appear holographic. Um, even though they're not each individually picking up colors, it's going to look like my lip is picking up the rainbow of colors. So here we go. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to use the liquid lipstick first. You can use any lipstick you want. It doesn't have to be liquid lipstick. Um, liquid lipstick's probably going to work the best because it actually dries down and it's going to be a lot easier to work with something that's dry than as opposed to something like a cream that's going to move around a little bit when you touch it. Um, I recommend using a lip liner. I don't really have a dark lip liner and I don't really use lip liner anyway, so I'm just going to go in. And you're just going to apply it like you would normal lipstick. Okay, so once you have your lipstick on, then you're going to take whatever eyeshadow look you are going for. I'm choosing the holographic. You're going to take, I'm going to use all four of these colors, and I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the purple. And I'm going to go to the outer corners with that. You can use a brush. I just prefer my fingers for stuff like this. And guys, you want to make sure that your lipstick is dry before you do this. Otherwise, it will move around. So again, I, pref I would suggest using a liquid lipstick. If you want something that's cheap, you can do Wet n Wild. They have some good liquid lipsticks. So next I'm going to go in with the emerald color, the green, and I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to start just beyond the outer corner and I'm going to do a little line under here and a little line on top of there and I'm going to go to the outer corner, just beyond the outer corner there as well. Okay, so you can see what I did. I went to the outer corners and then I just made some sort of odd pattern because when you have an oil slick it's not all one perfectly symmetrical pattern. So I'm going to go in with the blue now, the sapphire. 
so this color right here and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna leave a little room for the pink you can really do this however you want All right, now you see we have the three different colors. We got the blue going on, the green going on, and the purple going on. And now I'm gonna go in to the middle portions with the opal pink. Okay, I'm gonna just put the pink overlapping some of the areas so that it just kind of all melds together and it looks like a holographic color. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, there's a rainbow of colors, and it kind of shifts in the light just a little bit. It's more iridescent than holographic, yes, however, you still have that rainbow effect on your lips, and it looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if this is a look that I would do every day, because it just... It's a little, um, well, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't look so reflective in person. Um, it's a little bit dulled down. The colors come out a little more. Um, it is that iridescent look though. So if you like a look like that, I'm trying to see if I can maybe show you in normal lighting what it looks like. Um, I'm just using a lamp, but it was directly on my face, so maybe this gives you a little bit better idea of what it actually looks like. Yeah? Maybe? <laughs> um, so it's not really something that I would normally do, but it's a fun thing to play with, and I always say, you know, it's just makeup, it washes off, so if you don't like it, wash it off and do something else. Um, because no harm, and if you're not having fun, then what's the point of doing makeup? That's my opinion. Some people think they need it. If that's you, go for it. Me, I just like to play with makeup. That's why I do it, and it's fun to play with. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I hope you are having a great day. Comment below and let me know what look you would like me to do next. If you have some inspiration for me to go off of, and then let me know. And I love you guys so much. And as always, dream big.